Yeah, it's Monday morning. I'm just gonna load some stuff. Then we're gonna go and organize some stuff. Then we're gonna go. Here we have shoes for the boys from Sportsman. Bags with clothes for the boys and a picture for France. Driver equipment. My helmet. Some other. Now I'm waiting for my brother, but he gonna drive this one. So I just put the keys there. Then I go. Hey, what do you think about the Lulus now, eh? The broker there. <laughs> Looks really nice, or? I am now here at a good friend on sponsor's place, Rune FMS. We're gonna borrow his tire machine to take off some of the old slicks we are not gonna bring to, to France. Here we have the big boss himself. How are you doing, Ronnie? Nice. You look tired all the morning. Yeah, it's Monday morning. <laughs> Monday morning, that's the worst time ever. Eh? Nice <laughs> Chocolate, remoulade, breakfast and smoothie, and we're good to go. How are you doing, yeah. fat boy? Looks fat now. <laughs> uh, Morten, you got money? I forgot my ones. <laughs> so, workshop is so on say empty. Also here, it's empty. Light off. Let me turn the light off and we close the door. And we're gonna go soon. All the stuff from Norway here now, we're gonna come with us. It's now in the sprinter. And it's really good we have a lot more space because when we come to Germany, we're gonna pick up two big tents. Tent floor, tent walls, a lot of stuff there too. There is a lost bag inside. This is our bed. <laughs> Pretty full. Oh, and we're actually starting. My brother is going with my shells because we're going to deliver it on the way. I actually can't believe it. We started the journey to Paul Ricard right now. It's so I actually didn't... I was not prepared for it, but we are done. That's a friend of mine also. You can call it a sponsor. Stolle, everything good? Yes, sir. Yeah. This is the brother to Stolle. <laughs> you're, you're half the size in there. Now we stopped on the way here at uh, Brockleder 2. We're going to visit them and show them the car on the way to Oslo. Hello, how are you doing? Hello, uh, everything good? Klar for bild, eller? Smile da. Boarding. Use your boarding card, please. Okay, let's do that. All right, it's working. My brother and I is laughing a little bit there now because this boat is quite big when you stand here. <laughs> While we are waiting for the ferry, I thought we could mount the last sticker. We didn't have time to do yesterday. There we go. We are entering the ferry. I'm really looking forward to sleep a little bit now, actually. Now we're gonna go and ask the ladies here if we can get a room with the uh, ocean view. Because my brother never took this ferry before. You're smiling, Morta. Yeah, uh, Excited about the boat. I think the favorite room for you is just behind you, eh? Kids room. So I fixed us uh, a cabin with the view. Are you happy with the view, Morta? Yeah, it's uh, interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Straight into the rescue boat! <laughs> you get some light at least. <laughs> what a view. This line of trailer is waiting for us. We're a little bit late. We're stopping them at the front there. <laughs> Whoops! So we are finally out of the ferry. We are in kill. <laughs> Welcome to Autobahn in Germany at daytime. It's time to stop for a, stop for a coffee. I've for sure been a beetle trap here in Germany today because we've seen many of them. Look at this one. Super cool, eh? <laughs> this is gonna be good. Here we are, brother. Conrad Mats. Marco, we get out there. Alles gut? Hello. Hey! <laughs> What's this loose? So now we're gonna load out some of the stuff in the sprinter. We're gonna bring this box, this one, this one, this one, this one, the two tents, and some of the stuff in the regal over there. 
here in my workshop now, or it's not my one, it's Francis, but the one I'm using. It's the car from uh, Dennis Olsen. I'm gonna send you an invoice, Dennis, for uh, parking in my garage. <laughs> Morten, you think we need a pool? Never know. Nah, I think it's not gonna be that hot. We leave it here. I'm actually not sure how we're gonna fit everything now. Seems like it's more every air. And for the tents, we made those. Support on the wall there. Like that. It's one there at the front, and we got one here at the rear. Just like that. So. Easy. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Perfect. <laughs> it's starting to get full, brother. We still have a little bit more space, but the problem is when we are coming home from Paul Ricard or we're going to leave there, we bought like 10, 15 new tires we're also going to have inside. We are downloading the Sprinter and my friend here, Alex, friend and mechanic, he's having a barbecue. So here we are. <laughs> Actually, it's nice to see, but mainly why we are here, Alex, because we get free dinner, eh? Yeah, free food. Oh, German special. <laughs> Alex is building a new apartment here and he told me it's it's soon ready, it's just a little bit left. Alex. See, it's wide, no problem. It's a lot left. <laughs> it's, it's a lot left. No, it's six, eight weeks and we are finished. Six, eight months. No, no. Hey, Kokman. <laughs> this guy is cool. We are now done at the barbecue at Alex's place. Now we're going to make a last check. And then we're gonna sleep. Just checking now. Tomorrow we're gonna go thousand kilometers or something. Yoohoo! And Franz, he's so nice. He don't just let me use the workshop here, but now he's giving us a bed too. The bed is right here inside his building. Hey, hey, hey. Perfect. So it's Thursday morning. Here comes my brother, he's driving out the gate. And today we are going to the track. It's only 1,200 kilometers or something from here. We are now having the first diesel stop of today, but for sure not the last. It's time for the second coffee. Thank you, Sean. Thank you, Ineno. We have now been driving for four and a half hours. It's been a lot of traffic, so we already lost one and a half hour to the GPS, but we, we just have a little bit more to drive in Germany, then we're gonna enter Luxembourg, and then we go to France. Yeah. We just stopped here now at the border to Luxembourg to buy some, uh, what is it? Drinks and food and stuff for the weekend. Now we're gonna survive for a few days. <laughs> <laughs> it's no more space in the Sprinter, <laughs> we have to stop it here. But I normally say when the doors are closed, nothing is falling out. So when you can push it inside and close the door, then it's good. So let's let's try to fit the food in the cooler. How much space do we have? Not so much, though. Right? I'm crossing the border in a few seconds to Luxembourg. Here we get Paris to the right, but we are going to the left to Lyon. This road in front of us now is uh, quite expensive, but it's really nice. It's in front here and it's not so much traffic and it's just excellent. And it's again time for some diesel. Welcome to France. There we go, latte macchiato, oh, payment. Then we continue. We have now been driving for around 12 hours and it's still five to go. Okay, now is the time to pay for the highway. I guess it's gonna be expensive. Ah, it's not too bad. 49 euros. I thought it should be worse. So Morten, welcome to Lyon. Lyon. That's Lyon. 
So we are doing the last diesel stop, stop on the way down. We've been driving now for 15, 16 hours or something and it's only two left. I normally don't drink coffee, but I think this is number seven or eight today. Or what brother? Yeah, I think it's seven or eight. And what I'm drinking is actually not coffee because this is coffee latte with vanilla and caramel and these shit things. I just saw this one at the fuel station here. Nirvana. I think that's Norway in French mountain. I think we can say we are coming from Nirvana then, eh? <laughs> it's time to pay again. Thank you. Oops, I have to put it in gear. I need a quito. Give me the quito. Thank you. We just took off the highway and now we're going to start climbing the mountain to the track. Circuiti Castelle. It's around half an hour from here, up to the mountain. It's exactly... 12 o'clock in the evening we've been driving now for 17 hours and 45 minutes almost 18 hours but now we are here where we're gonna sleep tonight at the hotel next to the track we have a complete apartment for six guys I'm not always making the best road choices with my trailer it was pretty narrow there come on so, after almost 18 hours in this shit sprinter, we are finally here at the hotel next to the track. Now we're gonna sleep! <laughs> 